Let's take a trip back in time. Let's bring it back to 90s. The 1990s were full of software for me. I had to choose carefully, though, because things weren't always free back then. I mean, there was shareware, but not a lot of open source. So our producer, Joe, suggested I count down some of my essential pieces of software that helped me make the most of my IBM PS2-3286 and my Packard Bell DX. So here are my top five software for the 1990s. Number five, WordPerfect by Corel. I was very obstinately anti-Microsoft in my 20s, so I plopped down the money to buy WordPerfect, and I tried to use it too. Mostly I did, though I did still use Word 5.0 for DOS sometimes. Coming into number four, Netscape Communicator. Well, Netscape Navigator first, of course, but as soon as Communicator came out, it was my stalwart. It had a built-in page editor called Composer, so I could open any web page and see how the HTML worked and even make edits of my own. It taught me HTML, and I used its email client too. I even used the successor SeaMonkey for a long time before finally switching to that newfangled other successor called Firefox. Up to number three, Adobe PageMill. While Netscape Composer in Communicator was good, I got to where I wanted something a little more WYSIWYG, so I headed on down to Computer City and picked up a copy of Adobe PageMill. I think I used it well into the 2000s. Sliding into number two, Quicken. From 1997 until uh, now, I've used Quicken to organize my finances. It's a much different program these days, but I really haven't found an equivalent. Plus, it lets me keep my data local. At number one, AIM and ICQ. Uh-oh. To be honest, I was only ICQ for most of the 90s, but I did jump on the AIM train a little bit when AOL integrated it into Netscape, and it was the way to keep in touch. Even if I derided them both as unnecessary compared to email, I was kind of a punk back then. I mean, there was also RealPlayer and Winamp and WizFTV and Eudoran and Carta and the AutoExact Bat and Sound Blaster. What 90s software would you add to the list? Let us know. And if you want more great tech news and info, we've got this channel. Like and subscribe, youtube.com slash daily tech news show. We've got a podcast at dailytechnewsshow.com. And if you can help support us, go to patreon.com slash DTNS. I'll see you there.